um, I just wanted to bring almost like a fun challenge to you. Um, you may have been cooped up for you know a few days. Honestly, we don't know where we'll be at this point. But um, I was reminded of something that my family and I used to do um, almost once a month when I was younger. We would have like a movie night. Somebody in our family got to choose the movie and we would have like the theme night of this movie. And before I f finish that story, I wanna give you a verse that um, kind of triggered this for me. It's in Psalms 4, 7. It says, you have given me greater joy than that of great harvest. And obviously right now, um, the times aren't necessarily great harvest um, or, you know, what we could consider as, you know, great. Usually in a normal life, you know, parents would be going to work, you know, individuals would be going to work, kids going to school, and that would be that. You know, we'd go about our daily lives and we'd try to plan fun things on the weekend and this and that. But we are in an interesting time and I think sometimes with things like this, we need to make the most of it. And so I bring this up to just say, in your day, in a night or something, have some fun, have some joy. And you know, these movie nights that my family and I used to do, we used to get a little bit crazy. I remember um, one of the nights, I don't remember who chose it, but somebody chose the movie 101 Dalmatians. And my mom made us like t-shirts with like black spots on them. So we all wore these like white t-shirts with black spots. And then we had um, like Oreos and you know, we had like all of these different kind of crazy fun things. I think we had like popcorn and chocolate, you know, it was all the, the spot theme. Now I'm not saying obviously you need to go crazy like that, but what I am suggesting is that you maybe just you know, if it is finding that game that you've, you know, stuffed in the back of the, the cupboard or stuck, to, stuck in the back of the wardrobe, pulling it out and adding some fun rules to it. Maybe it is picking one of your kids' favorite movies or one of your favorite movies and, you know, trying to find things in the cupboard that would, you know, match the theme of the movie and, and making sure that you, you know, act out maybe some of the scenes and, and change them or just viewing life and, and taking things a little bit differently in this time. Maybe it's, um, you know, putting makeup on dad. <laughs> Sorry, I suggested that. Um, I don't know, but if you have been on social media at all, people are finding some interesting ways to, you know, find fun and to find joy in these self-quarantine times. But if you are a family or, or even if you are an individual that maybe you are alone in an apartment, you know, reach out to people through media, you know, and your families, um, get creative. My grandmother used to pull out tape and we would literally tape the floor and we would make some designs on the floor and that was super fun. Get creative. We've been created by an incredible creator and we can be as creative as, as he was in making our bodies because we do have the mind of Christ. We have a connection. So get creative during this time, have joy, have some fun and make the most of being able to stay inside. So I hope that this it challenges you maybe, I hope that it gives you some ideas, but ultimately my prayer for you is that you're able to find joy even in this strange time. Many blessings, bye.